Thank you for tuning in to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB, DJ Rain, and I'm sitting here with my guest, El Sheree Dean, founder of the ElSheeAlert.com. And when we come back, we're going to be touching on part two of a two part segment. <laughs> Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV, DJ Rain, and this is part two of my interview with El Sheree Dean, founder of the El Sheree Alert.com. Sheree, welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Uh, now, I know we, before we left off with the actual the El Sheree Alert.com. Yes. So, before we get into that, though, let's, uh, for the people that haven't tuned in on the mm -hmm. last one, kind of give them a recap of what we talked about. Well, um, basically, I kind of touched on um, why I do what I do and what community service is to me. And um, again, community service is very important. Um, it helps build a community at large. It, it, it helps um, shape and mold our children to grow up to be responsible, dependable uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. And um, I talked about, uh, gosh, so much, uh, all the different things I'm involved in, you know, Denim Magazine, mm -hmm. um, the celebrity interviewer for that, uh, Jay Lee Productions on the Jay Lee team where we produce stage plays, short films, and documentaries, mm -hmm. um, marketing team for Guapington Enterprises, um, co-chair for Mississippi Greek Weekend where we get all the Greek organizations from any and everywhere um, mm -hmm. to come together for a full weekend of great events and they're actually giving back to the community as right. well. Um, Cause who knows? Every, I'm doing everything. A right. um, couple of things I've done in the community with um, the Urban League and Tyson Foods. Um, recent golf tournament with our Jess Brown or Magnolia uh, Bar Foundation and it was for the art Jess Brown um, mm -hmm. to scholarship basically. So I've, I've done so many different things I kind of have to keep up. Where's the sleep coming at? Uh, I go to sleep, <laughs> trust. I go to sleep, I have to. Um, it, it just depends, right. it depends. Um, I, I'm, I get sleepy around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm just really good with time management. Yeah. If there's a loophole, if I'm at a stop sign, because I do not condone texting and driving, and if I'm at a stop sign or a red light, I may have this thought and, you know, remember something, and I'll, hey, let me send this out right quick, mm -hmm. you know. So I'll do stuff like that. Or um, if at lunch or something, if there's someone I need to call, I always do a to-do list. Mm -hmm. I do, that's the first thing I do in the morning is a to-do list. And it may be two pages long, but you better believe I'm, I have to do that because if I don't, I'm going to miss something. Right. So, and I go back and everything I do, I go back to that, that list and I check it off. And it, it holds me accountable. That list holds me accountable to what I have to do. And I have to make it, you know, if the El Sheree Alert is really something that I want to do and want it to be successful, then I have to sacrifice some things. Mm -hmm. So it may be that I can't go to this party. Mm -hmm. It may be that, um, you know, I can't watch this movie or something. Or I may have to go to sleep earlier or go to sleep a little later. So it's, it's all about time management. Right. Now, speaking on the El Sheree Alert mm -hmm. com, let's kind of go back to it, like the okay. beginning on how it started um, and, and the whole birth of the, uh, of the site and the company. I like talking about that because, no, I don't think anybody believes me that this was a joke. Um, people always ask me what's going on in the community. People from out of town that's coming back into Mississippi or coming back into Jackson itself and wants to know what's going on. And for some reason they always call me. No one wants to look on the internet to check it for themselves. So I just thought it was funny. Um, so what I did as a joke is I took a list of all the events that was going on one weekend, things that I would go to, mm -hmm. and I just put them on Facebook and Twitter. And that was it. And then I kind of attached to be funny, the El Sheree Alert. Yeah. And no meaning behind it, just being funny. And that next week, people start asking, okay, are you going to send out any more alerts? 
are you going to do that again? Well, okay, well, what's going on this weekend? Can you tell me what's going on in my state? <laughs> really? So it was, it was funny. You the game up. <laughs> right. So I, I did. I had to. So, I mean, I, I hadn't really even thought about, you know, really. I've always thought about starting my own business, but I never knew what. Mm -hmm. And so this one was just, it was different because I didn't sit and think about it at all. Went to sleep one night and had a dream, weird dream, and I just saw myself interviewing different people. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really tell, you know, the faces or whatnot, but I just saw myself interviewing, and it had this whole positive vibe to it, mm -hmm. and it seemed like I was having a really, really good time. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, oh, I wonder what that was about, you know, and mm -hmm. I was shocked that I actually remembered mm -hmm. the, you know, the dream, and I was thinking about the dream, and I was like, oh, I can do that. And I can name it the El Sheree Alert. That'll be funny. Mm. And, you know, also while I was asleep or whatever, the whole tagline, my tagline now is you don't have to be famous to be relevant. Mm. Do something positive. That came to me and it stuck, which I was very surprised because I forget everything. My short-term memory is terrible. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is weird because I have so much that I have to remember. Mm -hmm. So um, that came about and... Um, it just went from there. I threw it, I threw the tagline out there. I came up with a fake logo called the El Sheree Alert, of course. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a website, but I said a website is coming soon. Mm -hmm. Didn't even talk to anybody about a website. So I had, I don't know where, I guess I can say that was literally coming from God because this was something that I never thought of. It just happened. happened. Yeah. It literally just happened. That's amazing. So man. yeah, I mean, that's that's how that's how the El Shreeler got started. So as far as the content, um, like I know you have like the events going on. Mm -hmm. What other content content do you have? Well, um, I interview people. I um, either folks will come to me and say, "Hey, I would love to be featured on your site," um, or I'm just like I said, um, I've said before, I'm very observant and I pay attention. I tell people all the time, know that someone is watching you, mm -hmm. whether you think somebody's watching you or not you know you just never know who's paying attention and so always you know do your best and live up to your best mm -hmm. and so there are a few people that you know I've seen you know do some really cool things and they may not hardly even know me but I reached out to them and said right. I want to interview you for my website mm -hmm. I think what you're doing is dope yeah and I mean it could be whether they started their own business or that they're doing something fabulous in their communities mm -hmm. and that's helping their community and I think promoting people who would normally have a voice, um, hence the tagline, you don't have to be famous to be relevant. You know, I, I think promoting those people would motivate them even more to continue what right. they're doing. Because I understand how hard it is to be in a town or a small city and mm. no one really know you, but you're trying to do something good for your community. Yeah, and not really have an avenue to get it out To there. get it, exactly. Say, I'm, I'm doing exactly. this, I'm doing that. Exactly, and I also wanted to kind of show um, youth mm -hmm. that, again, you don't have to be famous to be relevant. Um, a lot of the reality TV shows right. that are out are very misleading, I believe. No. I mean, it's very negative, no. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have kids, but I think it would bother me if my children watched those shows and wanted to act like that. Right. It, that would bother me. So mm. I figured, hey, it's time for some positive reinforcement. It's time to show the youth that you can still be somebody and mm. you can even end up being famous. You mm. know, you just never know. But doing something positive and, and showing, you know, the good things in life and not, you know, fighting and cussing people out, mm. doing this and doing, you know, things that are just altogether negative. Mm. That that in the end is not giving you a good light. You you want something that people are going to really respect you for and that I don't see people respecting you for. Well, we're going to take a small break right. and we're going to come back and we're going to find out a little bit more about the elsharealert.com so make sure you stay tuned. To connect with El Sheree, log on to www.theelsheriealert.com or email thealsheriealert at gmail.com or Facebook, The El Sheree Alert, Twitter, The El Sheree, Instagram, The El Sheree Alert, and LinkedIn, El Sheree Alert.
Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. Exposure TV is produced by Peaches, host and producer of On Location TV. Thanks to House of Pain for their assistance. Death Tell DJs. Death Tell DJs. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB, DJ Rain, and we're sitting here with Miss El Sheree Dean. Sheree, we were talking about the content of mm -hmm. the El Sheree Alert .com. Uh, So kind of finish telling me exactly what the site has to offer. Okay. Um, again, like I interview different people who are doing positive things, whether it's their own business or, um, or starting their own business or if it's um, something that they do in the community itself that's, that's positive. Mm -hmm. um, one of the people, uh, one of my latest features was actually a celebrity though, um, Ray Edwards with the Atlanta Falcons. Mm -hmm. And I know he's received a lot of negative light in the past. Um, people kind of pick at him a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. And I, I assured him, you know, Elshree Alert is about positive right. things and what you're doing in the community. And it was really great to talk to him mm -hmm. and get to listen to a lot of the things that he's doing. And as well as um, some of the other features, um, I've featured hip hop artists from Mississippi mm -hmm. that are doing things in the community and actually have a message within their music. And mm -hmm. that's meaningful to me as well because I feel like a lot of youth that are interested in hip hop or the music industry itself. Mm -hmm. Um, has someone else like them to look up to. You right. know, they're independent artists and they're doing positive things in the community, but they also want to build a foundation in their music as well and not just make noise. Mm -hmm. um, so that to me was um, a really good thing to have. Uh, and to kind of tag along with that, I do an indie music challenge every month. Um, basically, I'll say every month, okay, between this time and this time, everyone who's an independent artist, doesn't matter if it's gospel, R&B, it could be, you know, you playing a, playing a banjo, whatever. If it's music, I want to hear it. Send me one entry and me and my judges will go through it and then we're going to choose the best one, you know. Mm -hmm. And with that, I give them, you know, whoever wins that month, they get the title of that being that month indie music challenge winner. Mm -hmm. And along with that, they get their uh, feature the interview with me, their photo up, the the song that was submitted that we chose, that's on there. Any contact information for them, so it's another way of exposing or giving them exposure. Mm -hmm. Hence, exposed right. TV. So uh, <laughs> tag thing. So it's it's just another way to promote people, you know, who mm -hmm. may necessarily not necessarily have those avenues provided for them. Mm -hmm. I also do um, poetic whispers on the El Shree Alert. And that to me is kind of cool because I love poetry. I love different types of poetry and I love listening to it. Don't ask me to write it. Can't do <laughs> it. But um, I get a lot of people from different areas of the country that will send me their poetry. Really? Yeah. It's, it's cool and I get to read it. Yeah. It's great because they want to be featured. Mm -hmm. So, and not necessarily featured. What I do is I'll put their photo out and their contact information in the actual poem. Or right. Okay. You know, the written word or whatever that they wanted to showcase. Right. And it's really cool. And just to get the feedback, that's that's promoting them as well. And that's mm -hmm. helping them. Um, the latest lady uh, who won, um, and forgive me, she's from Chicago, Illinois. She emailed me and was like, you have no idea what that has done for me. You just putting me out there has opened a lot of doors for me. Really? It has, um, you know, got me some more sales in my book I released. I was like, What? Really? She literally almost had me crying. I mean, it, it, that to me is motivation right yeah. there to to know that you're helping someone. And all of the great feedback that I've received from the El Shree Alert has been overwhelming. And I'm just like, really? Do y'all really think that? Or y'all just pulling my leg? <laughs> you know, but it's coming from people that don't even know me. Yeah. And, and so that reminds me of like, okay, well, maybe I am on the right track. Maybe I am doing something really good. Mm -hmm. um, and... I want to continue to add things to it. I'm not one of you. anybody who knows me is I'm not 
complacent. I'm right. not um, just sitting there. I'm not stagnant. I'm always doing something different. I'm always thinking about other things and what to do to improve. So the El Sheree Alert will evolve. And uh, one of the things that I'm doing now is 50 days in, or I'm sorry, 50 ways in 50 days. And that is basically a campaign to get people to vote. Okay, the election is coming up. It's very crucial. This election is very crucial. And so I want to make sure that people know, okay, this is where, this is the information you need to get registered. Um, this is some facts about each candidate, you know, what you need to know. These are the proposals that you're going to lay out on the table, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, one may be pushing you back, one may be pushing you forward. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just different things that people, in, in say, for instance, there's a community or a group like the Urban League. I know for one thing, the National Urban League is continually to pump information into communities about where to go to get registered and what type of information they need if they're in within a state that is requiring voter ID. It's just different things that people need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. If you move to a different county, do I need to get my, do I need to re-register? So there's different things that I feel people need to be uh, aware of. Of, and I feel as a, a responsibility of putting out positive information, I need to be able to share that with my viewers as well. Right. Yeah. I got you. Now, as far as the El Sharia Alert mm -hmm. com, that what can you see as like what direction that you are going to take it? Um, that one to me is always a hard question mm -hmm. because I, I just want to do everything, and that's part of my problem. Right. You know, I want to do everything. But ultimately, I want the El Sheree Alert to be a household name. Mm -hmm. I want people to know, okay, if I go to this site, this is I'm going to be able to find somebody that may could either help me with whatever it is I'm looking for because I do have membership. Mm -hmm. So I have members, people who um, subscribe and people who become members of the El Sheree Alert. They have different um, positions and they have different jobs and different um, things that they can provide. Mm -hmm. You know, I have people in photography, I have people in accounting that are members and people who do retail. You know, it just it's a plethora of things. Mm -hmm. And so I want folks who want to go to the El Sheree Alert to not only find a company to work with but or a business to work with, but to also find someone that I may have featured and say, hey, I want to talk to that person by either giving them a job or, or supporting their job venture or their mm -hmm. business or whatever it may be. Um, that's, you know, my ultimate goal. So that would be kind of like a little hub. Yes. Um, you know, like a little doorway from one world to the entertainment world or, to, yeah. That, Mama let you go. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, now for yourself, um, what are some of your long-term goals? Um, my long-term goals are, gosh, I don't even know if these are long-term or short-term, to be honest. But what I really want to do myself is to improve and narrow down mm -hmm. some of the things that I do. Because I think, although I enjoy everything that I'm doing, I know that I have to focus. And part of my problem is... I don't think that I focus as much. It may not seem that way, but mm -hmm. I think if I didn't have all the other stuff, I could just focus on this one thing. Or if I didn't have this, I could just focus on that. You know, right. um, it's 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 a lot to juggle. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. I'm not married. Mm -hmm. So yes, I have the extra time, but still, you know, I still have to have time for myself, right. for my family, mm -hmm. and which I, I try my best to make. Um, but I think as far as long term goals. Um, I just really want to move and, or to have the El Sheree alert spread throughout the country, throughout the world, and you know, people know its name and people know that it's something replicable, something that they can go to and it be something they can depend on. Mm -hmm. Now with that being said, we're going to take a small break and when we come back, we're going to finish up and uh, find out about some of these projects that um, Miss El Sheree Dean has going on and finish up with the El Sheree Alert .com. To connect with El Sheree, log on to www.theelsheriealert.com or email the El Sheree Alert at gmail.com or Facebook, the El Sheree Alert, Twitter, the El Sheree, Instagram, the El Sheree Alert, and LinkedIn, El Sheree Alert.
Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. Violator All-Star DJs. Exposure TV is produced by Peaches, host and producer of On Location TV. Thanks to House of Pain for their assistance. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB DJ Rain, and we're sitting here talking to Miss El Sheree Dean, founder of the elsheriealert.com. Sheree, we were just talking about the actual website, what it has to offer, like the immense amounts of stuff, yeah. um, and the direction that you that you want to take it, or mm -hmm. the area that you want to go, uh, if I say that correctly. <laughs> but with all these things that you have going on, like the co-chair stuff, the you know marketing, you know the website. I mean, how do you keep yourself motivated to keep on going? Um, my family motivates mm -hmm. me, my friends, um, people that are very close to me because they seem just as excited about it mm -hmm. as I am. Um, I have people coming to me all the time now, which are just is super hilarious to me, um, saying, Sheree, you're going to be famous one day. You know, let me get your autograph. Or, you know, I really like what you said about so-and-so. Or man, that was really a great feature, or yeah. I can't believe you featured me. This has opened up so many doors for me. You know, just different things like that. Um, I think what really pushes me is when I talk to different people and they say how it's motivated them to either start their own business or um, to just do something, break out and do something in the community and themselves or be more involved in their church. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, really? Yeah. You know, it, like I said, you never know who's watching. You never know who's paying attention. And I'm just grateful that people see how genuine I am about what I'm doing. I'm literally having a great time. If I, I mean, I eat, sleep, drink this all day. You have Every to. day. And it's but it's fun. Right. It, it doesn't become overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it's it's overwhelming, but in a good way, mm -hmm. um, where I'm just so excited. Like, oh my God, <laughs> what do I do next? So I mean, I I'm like that in the morning. I'm thinking of things. What can I do to improve the Elshire Alert? Mm -hmm. You know, and what can I do to you know provide more benefits for my members you right. know, and people who subscribe? You know, mm -hmm. what can I do? <clears throat> excuse me, or what am I doing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me. So it's just you know. I don't, everybody who tells me these things or send me private messages and say, hey, I just want to thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you don't know me, but this is awesome. Right. I um, did a show recently with Intune Blog Talk Radio for their Power Hour. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they asked me questions, but people actually called in to ask me questions. And that oh, just cool. blew my mind. Like, why do they really want to talk to me? Yeah. So, you know, one of the ladies that called in, she was just like, you know, this has been such a breath of fresh air. And I'm just excited to know that there are people who care about folks um, who may not have a voice. Or you, you've basically motivated me to do something. I, I love baking, and you've motivated me to start my own business. And that just blew me away. That is amazing, I mean, especially like when you talk about the beginning where, you know, it's just people asking yeah, what's going on Yeah, just started as a joke, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, come a, it's come a long way. In a couple of months, um, it started, I started uh, the El Shirela, I launched it per se, in uh, July 5th, mm -hmm. and it's it's been booming ever since, and I'm like really excited. I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Do you, do you have like a specific part of the website that's your favorite, or is it kind of, I mean, I know no, it all is. I think is. It's all is, <laughs> it all is, but I think the, the part that really gets me excited mm -hmm. is when I interview people, and mm -hmm. when I finally press that submit, where mm -hmm. I'm loading someone's uh, information, w the interview, and then I have my dialogue at the top um, to talk about that person and what I thought uh, upon meeting them or even after doing an interview with them. Mm -hmm. um, just to be able to put that out there and knowing that or praying that it's going to help them in whatever that they're trying to do, mm -hmm. that just brings so much joy. That's, it's just so much fun. 
No. I just get geeked about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you like? Are you having to update the website yourself? Yes, I do that myself. So. Now, I do have a web designer, mm -hmm. and that's through Do Look Be. Mm -hmm. uh, do Look Be is a company who's also a member of the Else Real Alert, and he started a motivation. Um, it's a, actually a guy that I went to Jackson State with, mm -hmm. and he's out in Houston. He started a, a company, Do Look Be, and it's motivation and it's helping people build their businesses and move forward. And he, uh, the do look be, do mm -hmm. you. Like D-O? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you um, look the part, be yourself. You know, it's, it's just different ways for you to do look and be who you're meant to be. Mm -hmm. You know, motivating yourself and motivating others. So, um, but he called me. He's like, hey, I want to do your website. He put it together for me, and then he's like, now, you're not going to bug me because I know you. Mm -hmm. I'm impatient. <laughs> That's one of my flaws. I'm impatient. So um, he was like, I know how you are. I'm going to show you how to do everything so you don't have to call me <laughs> every minute tell me, put this up right now, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm excited to say that I'm able to do that myself. So I get excited when I'm able to press that button. <laughs> so that's just an, that's another thing on that flight of yours. Right. It's another thing I learned to do. So, so are, you, are you looking to have, like, interns or anything to? Most definitely because I want to be able to go on the road. I want to be able to um, mentor. I want to be able to speak to different people, especially to the youth, and say, hey, this is a path that I chose. Right. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to choose my path, mm -hmm. but these are some options for you, mm -hmm. you know, just to open up, you know, a different window, a different door for them. Right. Um, or support positive. Yeah. Yes, something positive and, and just open their eyes to that. You know, everything mm -hmm. does not have to be negative. You know, mm -hmm. um, here's some things that you can do and it could earn you a living. Um, I also need interns. I, I don't know when I'm going to start that, but I probably need to do that soon because I'm going to need help with the social media. It's just different things that I offer my members mm -hmm. and it's like I'm going to need help right. with it. So I eventually want to have um, people, I don't necessarily want to call them ambassadors, but I want to have people in different states mm -hmm. that are going to be on the El Shri Alert team or whatever it will be called. Right. And, you know, their help bringing in members and maintaining their membership and mm -hmm. all of that. Now, if someone is interested in getting featured or becoming a member mm -hmm. or subscribing, like who do they contact? They can contact me directly. I'm, I mean, I talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, it's just you know, me. yeah, it's just me. I'm, you know, nobody really big or nothing. Yeah, um, you're, ma you're moving on that there. Well, hopefully it's just being a positive light, so we'll see. But to reach me, you know, you can contact me at the El Sheree Alert at mm -hmm. gmail.com. If you have any questions, um, if you, you know, especially want to inquire about our members mm -hmm. or, or being a member or subscribing or anything like that, you can actually subscribe online on the website. Mm -hmm. um, there's a section on the home page that says subscribe to the El Sheree Alert. Just put your email address. I won't have your name, phone number, address. I won't have any of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll send you information, uh, okay. special alerts and stuff through, through um, being a subscriber. And so that's how the artists like submit their music too? Through? No, actually they just send it directly to my email. Okay. Mm -hmm. They, uh, so poetry the, for the Poet Whispers and the Indie Music Challenge is all sent through the El Shri Alert at gmail.com. And any questions, mm -hmm. El Shri Alert at gmail.com. Um, you can also tweet me if you want. I'm mm -hmm. on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at the El Shri. That's T H E L S H E R I E. Mm -hmm. At the El Sheree. So you can follow me on Twitter. You know, ask me if you have any questions. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm very open. I mean, I'm very personable. So, you know, big deal. Right. Um, also on LinkedIn mm -hmm. um, as El Sheree Alert. Just omit the D. Mm -hmm. It's El Sheree Alert on LinkedIn. And on Facebook, like our Facebook page, mm -hmm. the El Sheree Alert. So um, yeah. that's it. I'm on Instagram too, the El Sheree. Yeah, the El <laughs> so, Sheree Alert. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you show. for having me. I really appreciate this. I and I really like what you're doing, too. Like, this is a really good thing. I thank really you. appreciate this. I appreciate you. Make sure that you support the ElSheryAlert.com. Check it out. See what Miss Elsheree Dean has to offer the city and everyone else. So make sure you support the positive things in the city. Tune in for another episode of